ندخل على الناس السرور نزرع بساتين وزهور ننشر أمل والمجتمع فينا فخور أحلى شعور وبروح حلوة رائعين عقرب واحد أجمعين حتى بتعبنا في البدل مستمتعين متطوعين للغير متعاونين بالخير نفيد حتى نستفيد كثير البذل عادتنا منه سعادتنا بالحب نغرس والحصاد كبير Hello, middle school parents and students. I have exciting news. We are focusing on differentiation this week. We are finding out the best way that students are learning, whether it's visual, whether it's auditory, and then we're using that information in booster sessions coming to you Sunday next week. Booster sessions will be held after regular classes to help students that have questions about content of the lessons. Very simple, if you need help, you come. If you're clear on the lessons, you don't have to come. And so this is what we're working on, gathering information to help students learn. And that's what we do at DIS. The ice melt and it started to melt because here we added hot water and we added cold ice. So the hot water made the ice melt. Um, the definition is a strong and fast moving stream of water or other liquid. The synonym of torrent is flood. Search for the synonyms. Okay. Sheikha wrote um, the sentences. Okay. A good luck in my culture is uh, that if an eyelash falls from your right eye, that means good thing is going to happen to you. And uh, about the bad luck, uh, my mom told me that if you dream about losing uh, a tooth, someone close to you is going to die. Mm. Good luck is that if you're, you itch your, uh, like your, uh, your right hand is itchy, that means you're going to get money. Mm -hmm. Just the right hand. My wish is to bring people that died back to life because I didn't see my grandpa and he didn't even see me and I and also I had a really good friend in grade 3, grade 1. May God have mercy on them. Yes, yeah, okay, let's start with the video. Okay, let's start. Okay, so basically what will happen in the video is uh, the man basically put, uh, he put ice in the pan, then he heated it, boiled it until the water uh, turned into boiling water, then he put the lid and uh, the water evaporated and uh, water formed Operation and basically what we learned is that uh, condensation happens if you like put ice in a boiling uh, if you put ice in a pan then you put a lid and basically turns into water that's condensation so yeah what we learned is that condensation condensation can happen everywhere not everywhere like anywhere like that has water
everyone today I'm going to show you the water cycle process so the first uh, process uh, the first one it's evaporation evaporation is the process that uh, requires energy in the water cycle the sun energy causes water cycle uh, I mean water to evaporate or uh, change um, or change from a liquid to a gas here water is evaporating from the ocean as you can see here and the next one which is condensation as water uh, vapor rises into the atmosphere it loses some energy and it condenses or change back to the liquid particles of water clump together around the particles of dust forming some droplets so here we have uh, precipitation um, inside cloud water uh, droplets combine to form raindrops that fall to earth as you can see over here and here is the water So, what happens to the particles of water when they change from liquid to gas state? Yes? Very good. Someone from online? Class? Can I have a quick yeah. answer? Yes, Ali. Um, uh, it loses uh, the from gas to liquid. Uh, the particles lose energy because when it's gas, it, um, the particles are far apart and they move very fast. But when it's liquid, uh, they come close together and they move uh, very slowly. Very good, well done.
Okay, Sadin, what is this activity about? This activity is about the activities of multiple and the least common multiple. Mm -hmm. uh, the latest common, how we can find the latest common factor? First, we need to find the factors of whole numbers. After that, we need to find the greatest common factors between them. Okay, and what about the LCM? We need to find uh, the multiples first for both numbers, uh -huh. and then we need to find the least common multiple. Thank you. Today I will tell you some of the regularly words that are the best. Negative numbers are numbers less than zero. Positive numbers are numbers greater than zero. Opposites are the numbers negative and positive numbers that are the same distance away from the zero. And the integers is positive and negative numbers that are not that are whole numbers and that can be decimals and fractions. I relate to the mother's feelings the most because she wanted her son back. This reminded me of my grandfather who died when I was four. Although I did not know him well or don't remember much of him, I still have small memories of him and if I had one wish, it could be to bring him back. Okay. If I could step in the book, I, I would go inside, take the monkey's paw and burn it before everyone could even think about it or know what happened to the sergeant and the people that had used it. Hello my lovely students, I have created this page entitled The Monkey's Paw on this platform that is called Padlet uh, where you guys are going to find everything you need for this story uh, I'm gonna include uh, the, uh, the story's trailer, uh, the link to the movie, uh, the pre-reading activity that we did together uh, a link to the page, the story itself and also I'm gonna include the reflection sheet where I want you to write uh, your reflection uh, of the story, what you like more. Each individual should have something that makes him happy and makes everyday life a lot more fun and exciting. There are many points that you can use to determine what makes you happy. For me, I enjoy driving airplane simulators and following airplane news. I also enjoy uh, playing in my imagination since I have a huge one. Getting outstanding marks and showing, them, and showing them off to my parents is so satisfying. I really get proud when I get good marks. Listening to music and listening to airplane engine sounds really helps reduce my stress and calm me down. I'm obsessed with airplanes, you can't blame me. Now, we all have sad moments, and we should find a solution to get rid of them. For me, I get rid of my sadness by forgetting the sad thing and praying. Now plan B, since, since there is a plan A, there should be a plan B. Plan B is to listen to music and eating something delicious. Yum yum. So that way I figured out what makes me happy through very simple four points. And... Uh, 
what makes me happy in general as a conclusion is playing in my imagination, watching airplanes, listening to music and praying. Thank you. Bye. and sometimes she has a uh, that sleeping concert. I disliked it because the events were poorly written and the place uh, and it ended. The events were mixed up and the story uh, keeps on going back and forth. Overall, I didn't like it. Okay, if you were able to change something in the story, if you were able to step into the book, what would you change and why? Um, I would change the mother because she didn't do anything in the story. She, she just complimented, <coughs> she just complimented Sergeant Morris and she told her husband that he uh, will be next time. She was. Okay, Zena, what is this activity about? It is about the absolute value, and the absolute value represents the distance of the number from the zero. Okay, give me an example. For example, negative four and four. It, represent, it represents the unit from zero from the left or the right. Okay. And how is the absolute value in used, uh, is used in real life? You can use it like uh, the elevation of a country or above sea level or below sea level. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, this is another week, this is a new week of uh, uh, more success in middle school. Uh, students actually are provided with the uh, best opportunities uh, for learning. They are prepared to become um, 21st century thinkers and they are acquainted with the uh, learning experiences that uh, prepare them uh, to become uh, uh, students who are well prepared for the uh, 21st century. Uh, we have good news in uh, middle school, actually, it's, it's in all phases as well. Uh, students will be provided with uh, uh, one session on the timetable as of next week. It's going to be titled Booster uh, Session. This session actually aims at supporting students and providing them with the opportunities to ask questions um, about uh, the lessons that they have, uh, they will have learned during the day, be it online or on campus. Uh, this uh, session um, uh, provides students with um, uh, the opportunity to meet with their teachers, to call the, their teachers um, during this time uh, of the session to ask them questions, to inquire about their learning, uh, uh, so that they feel uh, ready for the next sessions. Um, uh, thank you so much for your support and we're always here at DISG to support our students and provide them with the best learning.
Bosch is a place in Al Ain that uh, has a very uh, a very uh, nice place for lot, that brings lots of water from wells and nature resources. Uh, it's an irrigating system. Um, they use the water there for uh, planting and for farming, and there are lots of trees. And the area over there is so large, so it makes this place very important, especially that it is in Al Ain. Al Ain is a very old place in uh, in the UAE. Good, sir. Faisal. Faisal, how are you, Habibi? Good. Faisal, how are you? 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 How are So is there any problems in the university? Any challenges you are facing? No, no. There's no challenges. Everything is smooth. Do you like all subjects, or there's a favorite subject that you prefer? No, I don't. I don't like all of them. Ma fi ma fi عندك هيك ما في انت بتحبها او متفوق فيها. No. Everything just all the same. Okay. So all your classmates are with you in the class. Yeah. So it, it is a fun time for you, mm -hmm. and you're not bothered by the mask? No, it's okay. You're good. Okay, Habibi. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name, Habibi? Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman, which class, which, which grade you are? 70A. 70A? BA. BA. How is the, the experience you come into school? It's actually good. I can now meet my friends, not like on a, a computer, then I can't see them or talk to them good because like sometimes the app will lag or crash. Yes, there's some glitches and some... Yeah. This is so, this is better for you. Yes. And what's your favorite subject here at school? For me, it's like... English, but like I don't like to call also like a subject favorite mm. because for me all subjects are equally good as each other. Ah, okay. And do you face any challenges in the school? Like no. There's no any challenges. If you want to change one thing in the school, what it would be? Nothing. Like it's a good school. Uh, everything, but like the break, the break time needs to be extended so we can eat our uh, food. Uh, Uh, all our food. Uh, so the breaks is not enough for you guys? Yeah, it's like maybe five or ten minutes. So we can't eat like so fast. Inshallah, we will consider this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Habibi, for your time. Have a great day. Hello. 
السؤال هو تعب الإنسان لا يطيق ما هي الجملة الجادية التي ستبدأ بها نصك السردي صوت الهدوء في الليل جاء النعاس وأنا أقوم بالاستعداد إلى كتابة النص ما هي التقنية؟ Hello, I'm Dr. Park, the Director of Curriculum and Instruction. Today I'm elated to give you some exciting news. On Sunday, our electives will be added to our schedule. This means that all 9th through 12th grade students will begin learning information that they are most interested in learning. Subjects like forensics, biology, comic art, consumer math, advanced chemistry, and so many more. With the addition of our electives, our schedules will be modified slightly. Students that are face-to-face -face and hybrid will still leave the campus at 11.50, but starting on Sunday, they will go home and learn online from 1.30 to 3.10. We also have built-in time for our students who need additional assistance. Students will be taught in rooms on teams by our, by our teachers on Thursdays. As a senior leadership team, we are consistently monitoring lessons in all grades that have been taught to our students. As we monitor these lessons, the data will be used to help create a professional development for our teachers. And with this data and professional developments, this will increase our student attainment and our student progress. With your assistance and assistance from all stakeholders, we will continue to provide the highest quality of education for our students. Thank you and have a wonderful day.